Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful to this Tuesday morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday morning. By the way, I hope you guys are having a great year so far. Uh, anyway, so this morning's video, uh, kind of like this morning live streaming, I'm going to share with you the one thing, okay, one thing you should know about before you guys are going to purchase Brewster Kettle, okay. or fellow stack okay so this is uh, i believe that you know top two most expensive uh electric kettle out there okay because i know they are especially uh stack and bridge that they they are wonderful products uh very slick design as you can see you know what i mean very minimalistic design on a uh, fellow stack here okay great design Goodness, Brewster has been, uh, so this design has been around for a long time. So, I mean, so this is also fantastic grinder. I mean, not the grinder, electric kettle as well. Okay, so let's get real, okay? Let's get real about this. The both kettle, actually any other kettles out there, okay? Uh, if you buy like $15, $20 electric kettle, it does one thing. Boil, you know, I mean, it does, you know, boil the hot water pretty well. Okay, it does one thing. I mean, goodness, it does boil the hot water. That's it, guys, okay? Comes to, the um, only thing difference is, what's the difference between $30 kettle versus $160 kettle? So, so this is both, okay, $160 on Amazon. Uh, let me show you guys. I got my Amazon page open here. Okay, so this is the Brewster kettle. 160 bucks, right next to Brewster Kettle there. I don't know, that's a company called Magic Mill. I don't know what that is, but you know, it looks very similar to Fellow Stack. Selling for 60 bucks, okay. Uh, with the temperature control, built-in stopwatch. Bonavita, yep. So Bonavita is very similar to Brewster. I, I believe they are I think the designer start uh, uh, on the company, okay? I think Brewster and Bonavita, as you can see, very similar design. And uh, you, they got, you know, goodness, they got $80. Even Hario has one as well. This gooseneck kettle for 60 bucks. Brewster, again, uh, let's see here. Fellow stag is also 160 bucks, okay? But again, I mean, all this kettle does great job boiling water. I mean, that's one thing they're pretty good at. Okay, so again, if you, I mean, if you guys are thinking about buying, kind of toss between Brewster versus Fellow Stack. The reason why you know people wants to buy this because obviously popularity. Okay, the brand name as well, slick design, looks good. Let's face it, okay? I mean, fellow stack looks fantastic. All right, for the look all on, you know, if, if you have the money, if you have a nice coffee bar set up at home, guess what? You might want to go with the fellow stack. But, okay, so before you purchase it or before you order, let me show you the one, okay? One thing you should remember, okay? One thing is the flow, the flow of the water. So let me show you what that is. A live demo. Because whenever you guys are doing the pour over, obviously the pre uh, precise flow, uh, the water flow is very important. So let's start with fellow stack, okay? Let me show you the flow of the water. I'm just gonna open it up here. Okay, so, so look at the flow. So this is pretty much the maximum. I'm doing it right now. You see that flow? It's not as strong. Look, look at my anger as well. I'm sure my anger. I'm pretty much. I'm almost tilting. Tilt. That's it. And then let's compare that with Brewster. Okay, here is the Brewster. Uh, watch the flow. You guys see that? 
a lot faster, a lot stronger as well. A lot stronger. So again, I mean, all depends on what you guys want to do. Comes to your pour over. So let's go back to fellow stack here. So this is the max. Again, the reason why the difference between the flow. So as you can see, there's no restrictor on the barista. And then let's go to fellow stack. Hopefully I can show you guys. They have a restrictor uh, on the, the spout, okay? So that slow down your water flow. So it comes to precision, you can, with the fellow stack, you can, control, uh, really, you can really control the, your water flow, very precise. Like you see here. Beautiful flow here. But with Brewster Kettle, obviously you're going to have very strong pull in the beginning. And also you can control, not as precise as a fellow, but still good, okay? Okay, so let's talk about that for a second. So what what this so what this means? Okay. What this means? Like for example, like for example, uh I was talking to Vincent from Tears Coffee yesterday. Okay, uh the Vincent is the uh, uh friends from Canada, Vancouver, he has coffee bar. Uh he has a it's not it's not even coffee, it's a pour over coffee, very specialized coffee brewing method. Okay. So, so, he, so what uh, he he does the uh, single pour method. So he needs to put all his the liquid in the first like I believe forty five seconds, first forty five seconds. But stock cannot do that, okay? Because slow again, it has a restrictor, a uh, built in restrictor, so he cannot use this uh, fellow stack. But obviously he was using the Bonavita, but Bonavita and Bonavita are very similar design as well. So, so this one does not restrict. So he can pull uh, all his, uh, he does the like 1 to 15 ratio. So like to over 200 grams in like 45 seconds. Very So in the beginning, you need that, you know, forceful, uh, the water flow, okay, for his method. So again, I'm not saying, I mean, this is bad, okay. So this is not about good or bad. So this is about difference main difference between the fellow stack versus Brewster, okay? So, uh, by the way, let me know in the comment section, okay? I'd love to hear from you, okay? If you have fellow stack at home, do you like it? And then, you know, if you don't like something, just let me know what you don't like about the uh, kettle, okay? L love to hear your thoughts on that. So again, so that's the main difference. When it comes to boiling water, the fact is all of them does a great job, okay? But one thing I noticed it, was the flow of uh, the flow of the uh, flow of the water so anyway uh, let's see here by the way if you're new to the channel welcome to our daily live streaming and it's pretty fun okay we we spend you know between 20 and 30 minutes every morning we chit chat talk about coffee coffee recipes and also we're going to do some couple unboxing stuff once in a while as well but however uh, we are going to do some unboxing, not this morning, but maybe this afternoon, okay? I have a, a entry-level burr grinder, so let's do that. Uh, if the time is permitted, uh, let's do that this afternoon. And then also we are going to do some, uh, let's see, another pour-over session, okay? So it should be a lot of fun. It should be a lot of fun. Mar uh, Marvin mentioned about unboxing there. Uh, we're going to do that sh uh, shortly, okay? Uh, sometime today, okay? Anyway, uh, if you guys have missed my SSP upgrade yesterday on my DF64, so we got some fun plan coming up for you guys. 
I'm going to be comparing DF64 versus P64 here. And uh, let's find out is there any difference in the brew quality. Okay. The, again, uh, P64 comes with SSP high uniformity. With DF64, it has the SSP but multi purpose. So it's not exactly Apple, uh, Apple to Apple comparison, but still, uh, still going to be uh, close enough. Okay, let's see here. Oran have the AXA digital pour over. I mean, there. I mean, those coffee can uh, not the uh, coffee kettles are fantastic. Okay, you know what? If you guys are in the coffee, this is fantastic time because there's so many great electric kettles out there. Because even like three or four years ago, pretty much Fellow Stag or maybe Brewster, this main brand name. But we didn't have a lot of options back then. But now, if you look at Amazon, goodness, everybody trying to beat each other. So yeah, so the qualities are amazing. A lot of different features. So yeah, uh, again, I mean, if you are in coffee, this is a fantastic time. Okay, Oscar ask. Hold on a second. Oscar has a question here. Can you hear me with my grinder? Spread sound like shower all over in my counter Oscar uh, why don't you join me on uh, Instagram okay after this you can maybe you can show me what that is on Instagram live there you should be uh, yeah I mean definitely we can help you with that again join me on Instagram so I mean if you don't follow me on Instagram make sure to do so uh, we usually go uh, uh, Instagram live uh, followed by YouTube live if you have any questions or comment you can ask me directly okay in a live session you can join the chat. It's great. Okay. I think we are pretty good this morning. <clears throat> okay. We are pretty good this morning. And then I'm going to see you guys on Instagram right now.